Visual Studio 2008 can be used to work with your XML data. Once you establish a project in, in Visual Studio, you can go into the project, right mouse click on it, select Add Existing Item, and then go in and pick the files you want. Let's pick this TV Schedule XML, and then I'll get the DDT as well. Notice my naming convention. I use the same name for both files and by the extension I can tell that one is an XML file and the other is the validating file, the DDT file. Now I have some simpler files that we can use so instead of spending time debugging we'll just look at those simpler files. So let me clear these out for now. I just did want to show you how to bring files into your project though. Alright, so here we have our product XML and you can see that there's a product and then there's some sub items. So we have our product name and our product description. And here's what the DDT looks like. Now, let's say we go in and add a new field. And we'll do a save. And when we look at our errors and warnings, Visual Studio is designed to be a programming environment, so it's looking for a submain or a beginning part of the program. You can safely ignore this because you're basically just doing this for XML. So we'll always ignore that message. But if we go back to our product XML and make a change to it, I'll even just add a space. And right away you can see that our product is incomplete because it's looking for product description and color and we don't have the color in here. Now, if we put color in here, you can see that automatically, even before we save, that error goes away. And let's say that somebody comes in with a new item number right away we find out that it has an invalid child element. So right away our code is, is shown to be invalid. So in order to get everything lined up, we're going to put it back where it was, go back to our DET, get rid of our color that we added. And at the same time we can look down here and keep track that we do have a valid document. Now, there's another piece here. We can take this XML, and if we go to our XML menu item, we can create a schema. And I'll drop this down a little bit. Schema is a little bit more complicated, and this is another validation in XML. It's companion to what our DDT was. So here's our DDT, and here's the schema. And if you made changes in this, also your error messages would reflect that once the XML file is connected. So here we have it connected to the DDT. If we connected it to the schema, then it would read the schema. So there's some of the XML tools that come built into Visual Studio 2008.